Ready to go. Greco-Roman heavyweights. Rue Longardner from Gilbert, Arizona, the 98 Pan Am champ, the defending champion here at these nationals and one of the young guns in Greco-Roman taking on. You remember him? Sure you do. Matt Gaffari from Cleveland, silver medalist for the Olympics in 96, 96 Pan Am champ, a four-time World Cup champion. And it is Gardner in the red, a Gaffari in the blue. Matt Gaffari coming back after quite a layoff. And Matt had a layoff since the 1996 Olympic Games, but here again we've got the old guard versus the, uh, the young guns. Matt vacated the spot, but he's, he's coming back, making a statement, saying he wants it back. There was a pretty tough call. Gardner got behind Gaffari, forced him towards the out-of-bounds. They went out-of-bounds with Gardner behind him, but because he really didn't try to finish with some kind of throw or takedown, referee said you were just pushing him, and that was a great opportunity for Gardner to get on the board early. Yeah, you never want to miss an opportunity like that, especially against a guy like Matt. Matt's so hard to score on, and you know it's going to be a really tough, close match. Rulon just didn't sit around then when Matt was away. He was a very dominating year last year, the 1998 Greco-Roman Wrestler of the Year for USA Wrestling. And everyone felt this was going to be Kafari's big test. And really, Kafari shocked a lot of people by entering this tournament. Many felt that he was going to retire, but he's now in there. They both compete for Sunkiss Kids. These two know each other pretty well. Gardner's never beaten Kafari. Kafari's had knee surgery. He's had twins. His wife is expecting again. He's had a lot of things on his plate since the Olympics. And must be tough for him to focus and come back. And Jim, you tried to come back for the 96 games. How difficult is that? That's really difficult, and not not just because you've been away from the sport and the sport keeps progressing, but also because your life changes. You have so many different different uh, focuses. I mean, I, you have a family, you have a job, and, and Matt uh, Matt's been working. He's got three children now and one on the way, and it's difficult to maintain that same focus with those outside interests and different interests. Maybe the more kids he got, the the more focus you can get on wrestling. <laughs> a little bit. This, <laughs> This does have a have a monetary <laughs> bonus for winning this I'm, tournament. I'm going to work out, honey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Matt, I think one of the one of the key decisions for him is his knees were bad, and I think uh, they started to feel pretty healthy. Hey, nine knee operations, Gafari's had. That is just amazing, and let's hope they got it right this last time. Uh, Rulon Gardner is going to be able to fatigue Gafari on his feet, but Matt Gafari has tremendous experience on the mat. That was his strength at the Olympic Games, was his ability to turn his opponents, and that's what I think this match is going to come down to. If Gardner can stop Gafari from turning him, and it's good, Gafari's going to get the first crack at it. I think this was Matt's strategy. Get a caution and try his you gut bet. wrench. He's you bet. A dominating gut wrench. If he can get it, he's got to stand a good chance to win the match. And he worked long and hard. A lot of people look at McAfee and said he has done so much with himself from when he first started. There goes the turn. And there's the two-pointer, and Gardner's in the hole now, and this is Gafari's strength. He now can sit back and wait, but it is an eight-minute match, and that really will test Matt's endurance level. He has not been pushed so far in this tournament by someone like a Rulon Gardner. Stay with us. We'll return to Disney's Wide World of Sports Complex to continue the 98 Nationals. A minute and 15 seconds to go now in the Greco heavyweights. Matt Gaffari in the blue with a 2 to nothing lead over Rulon Gardner. Gardner will have to pick up the pace now here in the final minute. It's interesting. The University of Nebraska has put out a lot of great heavyweights in the last few years. Rulon Gardner being another. Tully Thompson, who won the freestyle competition earlier with Tom Erickson, is a heavyweight from Nebraska as well. Now referee Tony Melosi. Be interesting. Yeah. They used to talk about whether the passivity calls could interrupt points, and that is now the fifth one against yeah. Matt Gafari. Well, with the way the rules are, Matt does not have to do any more than he's doing. He's had 2 nothing, and if Rulon cannot score on him... At the end of overtime, it'll go to Matt, right? And then Matt knows how to play that to its greatest advantage. There's also a little bit of a big brother factor here. Rulon grew up under Gafari being the number one man at the Sunkiss Club, and Gafari had always defeated him, and that was a tough situation coming into here. Many surprised by Gafari being here, but it was Matt's parterre experience, his ability to turn with the gut wrench that won him this match. Five seconds to go, and it looks like Matt Gafari's comeback is going to be complete here at these national championships. 
as he defeats Rulon Gardner in overtime, two to nothing, and has returned to form with a national championship in his first competition since he won the silver medal at the 1996 Olympic Games in Atlanta, Georgia. There's that gut wrench right there, Matt, using great technique, tight hips, and tremendous leg drive to bring that heavyweight across his back and earn the two points to victory. It'll be interesting to hear what Matt Gaffari has to say. He is with Jim Shear. Matt, you have to wrestle rule on again at the, uh, the World Team Trials, and it looks like tactically in this match and others, you got your caution, you went for your strength, which is a gut wrench. Do you think that uh, he may make some adjustments for I the think, next match? I think experience always good against the young people. I could turn them and they can't turn me. So my advantage is to score early and I could pummel better. I'm planning to go to Colorado Springs residence program and train for a month. I've been there since April 8th, so I trained only three weeks hard, four days for this. I've you know, a lot of work at home. Matt Gaffari, just one of the heavyweights, providing some fireworks here in the very interesting night of the national championships. Gaffari was great with a victory after that comeback, and Tolly Thompson with a huge stick there on Tom Erickson, and then the train of Lincoln McElravey keeps right on rolling tonight. I think we're going to see a lot of Lincoln McElravey. McElravey is one of the young stars, and he continues to improve, and with, a, with a, a, a legend like Dan Gable who has trained him and really set a standard for him to follow. I think we're going to see a lot of Lincoln McElravey in the future. But again, Gutch has defeated Jackson. Gutch is reestablishing himself at that weight class. And of course, uh, Thompson over Erickson with that phenomenal stick. That was terrific. Dennis Hall, someone who had a tough time at the World Championships last year. He seems hungry. He really dominated his weight class. And then Trisha Saunders, a two-time world champion, again won the national tournament here. She'll be hopefully going to the World Championships. She wants to take on a five-time world champion uh, at the championships later this year, and we want to wish her a lot of luck. A lot of fresh new faces as national champions here. That is going to do it from Disney's Wide World of Sports Complex in Lake Buena Vista, Florida. For Jim Shear and Jeff Blatnick, I'm Lon McCarran. For our entire crew, thanks for joining us. We'll see you again soon.